The big theory, a lot of times you'll see an area where a bunch of fish fall out or a bunch of frogs. And frogs and fish most often would weigh different amounts. So you'll get a bunch of fish, maybe the fish weigh a couple ounces, two ounces we'll say. And those fall out of the sky much earlier then than your one ounce frogs, things like that. So you'll get a patch of fish and then a little further down your upper level winds you'll get some patchy areas of frog in your forecast. Well, if you're talking strictly about fish and frogs, most likely with the fish you'll get it in some more, I would, I would venture to guess anyway, your shallow waters, heavily populated, larger, kind of wide bodies of water that have a lot of fish that live in just low level areas. Maybe if the water is warmer because there's less oxygen in the warmer waters, so sometimes just off the coast of Florida, again with the water spout situation, you'd get warmer waters so fish would come up closer to the surface to get more oxygen and then that's when you get a water spot coming in and eventually you get fish landing on people's cars. You can get large scale updrafts for some types of water spouts, strong thunderstorms potentially, generally it'd be something more concentrated. Updrafts in a thunderstorm, that's actually the fuel you get rising air and that's actually what condenses and creates a thunderstorm so you don't get a thunderstorm without an updraft but when you get a strong thunderstorm that'll produce a water spout or a tornado again you'll get a very concentrated updraft in a very small area it'll be sucking up winds at possibly hundreds of miles per hour so that's what you get with a water spout and then that all has to go somewhere so it gets sucked up you get upper level winds then that pull out some of whatever's in the air coming in the water spout and then that would end up eventually you lose the updraft you lose the upper level wind support and whatever's in the air falls down from what from what we've seen it seems like the occurrences seem to be increasing, but a lot of that due to, again, you'll get reports out of Malaysia, you'll get reports out of Sweden, Austria, places that maybe a hundred years ago people might have seen it but wouldn't have had any way of reporting it. So it might have been in the local paper, maybe they wrote it in their diary, told some friends at church or school or things like that, but that would have been how you get them out. So now you'll hear reports, several of them within a couple weeks, and a lot of times it seems like those are occurring with about the same frequency as it always has over the years.